In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way that you can completely just torch the match coverage in Madden 22. This is also a way that you can use this to torch pretty much any coverage in the game. And I'm really excited to bring this to you. This is out of the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually have been running the Gun Bunch all season long. And I released an ebook earlier in the year entitled the Gun Bunch ebook. And what that's meant to do is it's meant to allow me the flexibility to go to different playbooks, different gun bunches, and share different concepts that you can apply whether you're running Seattle or Carolina or Washington or whatever bunch you want to run. So I started the year in Seattle. I've now kind of shifted a little bit to Carolina, might shift to Washington down the road or maybe even Indianapolis, but I'm really liking the Carolina gun bunch. So if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide, there is a link in the description where you can go get the full offensive scheme for just $15. So super cheap, super affordable early in the year to get yourself a really, I think, just un completely unstoppable offensive scheme. Now that being said, I'm going to come out in the uh, nickel 335, which or 335 wide, which is pretty much the meta defense uh, in this game. And I'm going to share with you a really cool little trick that you can use to glitch out match coverage. So we're going to come out and play Smash Return out of the Carolina Panthers Gun Bunch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and audible down to the cover four show too. And the adjustment that we're going to do with this is really simple. We're going to put the running back on an out route. And we're going to put the R1 or the slot receiver on a streak. So your play is going to look just like this. And then we're just going to motion that circle receiver to the outside, kind of wait for him to set his feet, and then we're going to snap the ball. And what you're going to notice here is that the X receiver is not going to get matched by the outside quarter zone. I find this to be a super big deal because they're not going to be able to take away the flood concept to the bunch side, even though they're in a quarter coverage even though they're in a match defense is designed to take away a flood concept you're going to see here that this motion is going to make this wide open every single time and i can throw this for a consistent gain of about 20 to 30 yards now the reason this is really cool is because let me continue on with the tip and we're going to show this now with against a cover three mabel coverage this is arguably the most popular coverage over the last uh two seasons of madden maybe even three seasons if we go back to madden 20 uh but if you take a look at this what you're going to notice is the tight end route is going to get into a really unique position it's going to be able to get open against cloud flat coverage um it's what's really cool about this is this is going to get open against a uh a cloud flat you know kind of like a tampa two if i'm, I'm going to show you tampa two here um it's not only going to get open against those cloud flats but it's also going to get open against zone drops and the reason why it is so good against zone drops is because it's just a little bit shallower than a 25 yard zone drop will cover meaning they're going to have to put their zone drops at like 20 maybe uh at 20 yards but the cool part also about that is if you think about it when you're running this uh when you're running this setup what you're going to notice is that the tight end route gets open at different points as well so it's not just something that gets open like some corner routes they just get open at one little specific point on the field that's why zone drops can be good but as you see here this one just continues to get itself open and what i like about this is you can throw this against the blitz as well so let me go to a kind of standard meta cover three hard flat five man pressure out of the uh out of the nickel three through five wide if you watch what happens here this route to the circle receiver really does a good job of pulling the zone out of the way and as you see here i can easily just snap throw that and now i get myself about 20 yards against a standard meta blitz now the other thing that you can do is you can do this against man-to-man -man coverage as well this play is also good against man and the reason it's so good against man is once again just snap throw the ball and you're going to be able to possession catch that as long as they don't swat it at the line of scrimmage let me show you this again we're just going to go to the mike blitz zero and especially if you have the short in ability on your tight end which george kittle does get that um darren waller i think also gets up you see there if i see blitz i'm just gonna snap throw the ball out there get it out there quick now what about standard man-to-man -man coverage well the cool part about this play is Sometimes your tight end route will not get open against man coverage. And so what we need to do is have a secondary read. Well, that's what this circle receiver is. 
every single time they run man coverage, he's going to get wide open. It's probably one of my favorite routes in the entire game because of what it does to man, but also what it does against zone. I'll show you that against zone in just a moment. But if we watch this, when I motion him out, again, I'm just snapping the ball just as or just right before he sets his feet. See how consistent that is as a check down read against man. Most of the time the user by this point is going to be on the left side, taking away that in route. Because the other thing that's really cool about this is that the circle receiver gets open way outside. So he's not in the middle of the field. The user can't go guard him. They're going to be working there. And you see right there, I can throw that there. So we've got great spacing on this concept. And if the user wants to run to the right, well, we have a high low on the left side. So you have the route to the square receiver that's going to get grid separation against man-to-man, uh, -man, just passing that to the inside. Click on make a secure catch. You also have the running back that's going to get separation against man, man So you have great man beaters on the back side of this. And the other thing that I like is let's say that they're running Mabel coverage because that's the number one way that people are going to defend the gun bunch is they're going to run Mabel coverage. In this year's game, a lot of people are not willing to drop nine people into coverage okay so you're gonna leave this middle field up so watch this circle receiver watch him cut in right underneath the zones as a great check down read for you so that route serves as a phenomenal check down read in the event that they do something like that now the last thing that i want to go over in this is against the cover four drop and i think the cover four drop honestly probably defends this play the very best but because of this tight end route being um being delayed right the quarter zone on the outside will never cover him it'll never get out there you're going to easily be able just to secure a catch and let me show you one a popular tactic that a lot of people um a lot of pro players especially uh i noticed Drini was using this a lot um but there's other pro players that have been using this tactic where they base align their quarter zone well, the problem with that is, again, the tight end rod is not a traditional corner. It's a delayed corner. So you see how he cuts the outside. That quarter zone never reacts to the ball. So you're going to beat any zone coverage with the tight end route. And if they, for whatever reason, take away that tight end route, you can easily check down to your circle receiver when he comes back across the field. The other thing that's really cool about this is you put yourself in a really good position against things like cover two. You have this nice little seam read, just pass lead that to the inside. You see there that it can beat cover two right up the vertical seams. So you're putting them, putting some stress, stress on the middle of the field, um, you know, in that situation as well. So this is just an incredible play. Um, you know, you can fade R1. You can do a lot of stuff with this. And I just think what it does to match coverage really is what makes it special because it's a flood concept that match coverage can't stop. Uh, match coverage will never defend this play as long as you motion that circle receiver to the outside. You're going to put yourself in a really advantageous position. And most people don't know this, um, but you can snap that ball just right before he gets outside like that. And as you see right there, he's just getting in a really unique position for an easy game. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my full shotgun bunch offensive guide, there is a link in the description where you can get that offense for just $15. I think it's the best offense in Madden 22 by far. It's not even close because of things like this that you can do to really manipulate a lot of coverage with very simple progressions and honestly very easy to set up plays that you can snap really fast. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive scheme, there's a link in the description. You just click that link and it'll take you right over to the website where we'll get you all squared away.